discussing some topics that I brought up on my social media when I was doing a poll type of questionnaire. I just wanted to know how my followers felt about the topics that I'll be discussing today. So just bear with me uh, as I answer some of them. I picked five that I'll be discussing and I just want to share my opinions because when I posted these questions on social media, I made these questions. Um, I never really shared my opinions with the with my social media. I mean, some of my followers DM me to kind of know how I felt about these topics, but I never shared it to everyone. So here is me sharing my opinions to everybody. Okay, and this is just the honest truth. Uh, you know, yeah, I'm a very honest person. Here it goes. Trust is more important than love, and 93% said yes, 7% said no. Trust is definitely more important to love because there is no love without trust. Because to me, it takes me a long time to trust somebody. So for me, when I trust you, that means that I can let you fly to Miami during spring break knowing that you're not going to do anything. And like once I reach that level of trust, of course, I will love you. My heart is secure if you don't break my trust. That's what takes me such a long time. But the real question is, do you trust that person? Do you trust that person with your life? Do you trust that person with your heart? Do you trust that person with every part of you? You know, and I feel like people don't really ask themselves that question just because they're so focused on the wrong things. You can't love somebody if you don't trust them. Well, at least for me. Quick and simple. The second question is, would you rather have your partner cheat and lie or cheat and tell the truth. 6% said cheat and lie, and 94% said cheat and tell the truth. I mean, those 6% were men, you know, because that's what they do. You know, a lot of people feel like, oh, the truth hurts. They said that, yes, the truth hurts, but it's better to tell the truth. Before I give you guys my answer, I do not agree with cheating, right? If my man cheats on me, that's the end of the relationship. I do appreciate you for telling me the truth, but I'm sorry, baby, we have to end the relationship. You just cheated on me. You just shared what belongs to me with other people. You shared my penis. You shared my lips. You shared my tongue. You're sharing what belongs to me to other women. And not even that. You're, you're putting your penis into somebody else like, what if she has a whole disease and now you're gonna come back and have sex with me or kiss me? Oh no, I have to break up with you because now my my whole body is at, it's at risk just being with you after you've cheated. I just can't do it. I don't play that. That's, a, that's the biggest form of disrespect, right? I'd rather you tell the truth about what you've done because of course I will find out. So it's better to just be honest right there than me finding out. You know what I'm saying? You might as well just get it out the way. Okay, so the third question is, if your partner proposed to you in public, but you weren't ready for it, what would you do? 79% said, oh, I would say yes now, and then tell him no later, just for the public's sake. And 21% said, say no immediately. And I'm those 21% because I feel like it's messed up if you tell somebody yes in public just for the public and then you ruin his heart and say no later. That hurts more to me. Just just spit it out. Just say no immediately because you're saving. Yes, it's humiliating, but then it's also better to say the truth right up front, right? Just be honest. I would say no immediately. Baby, can you marry me? No. No. Before a man gets on his knees you have to have a whole bunch of confirmations from her like you have to find a way to to ask her if she really wants to do this or if she really wants to be with you like you you just have to know before you get on your knees you can't just get on your knees just say uh, like i don't know i don't know you have to know before you get on your knees you have to know how she truly feels about you you know you guys have to kind of talk about these these topics like you have to bring it up you know talk about it uh, what do you think my marriage like do you see yourself with myself like you have to talk about these things because it's real like yes it was embarrassing for her to say no but it's also embarrassing to say no later after you've said yes either you say yes 
and don't even say no later or just say no right there okay next question is should pressure be more on women to use birth controls on men 32% said women and 68% said men. And of course, those 68% that said men are women and those 32% that said women are men. And I think that men should be more pressured to use birth controls than women because a woman only gets pregnant once, right? In the nine month period. But by having sex with one man, no matter how many guys she has sex with, after that which she shouldn't she can't get pregnant anymore because it's already sealed right the deal is already <laughs> the deal is made it just won't happen but a man he can impregnate so many women in that nine month period he can have sex with a thousand women and all of them get pregnant a man can put his penis in so many different women in that nine month period let's say he has sex with about 900 women 900 women will be pregnant just because of that man that one man so why should pressure be more on women when guys have to learn how to control their penis pull out faster like i don't know do what y'all gotta do but y'all need to be the ones using birth controls more than women and the last question is who is more emotional men or women and i feel like both genders are emotional very almost at the same level but guys are more emotional than women and i say that because a lot of guys try to hide it you know back in the days what they used to say oh you can't show how emotional you are to a woman because that's a sign of weakness oh you're gay if you if you show emotions or oh, you're this you're that that's all bs to me because i feel like Everyone should be able to express how they feel because it's important, right, to the, to your partner. Yes, we are emotional, but I feel like guys are more emotional. Guys don't take cheating lightly compared to women. Women, yes, we do show our emotions. Like, you know, we cry. We do all that stuff. But we don't, I mean, some, some women would try to kill the women. But just a way to say that guys don't handle cheating better than women. Like, Women will kind of wipe our tears away and get up and keep it moving by the day. But guys, they will cry for years. They will be broken. But to me, it's like it's the same thing. You know what I'm saying? The way you're hurt is the way that I was hurt. But when we reciprocate that same energy, they don't like it. So why do you do it in the first place? It's like, like are you okay? Are you forgetting that I can do the same thing that you did? A thousand, a thousand times worse than you? You know, we can actually hurt men more than they can hurt us just because they're more emotional. <laughs> so that kind of concludes. Let me know how you guys felt about this. I was very chill today, as you see. But let me know how you guys, um, how you guys felt about these. Um, if you guys would like to see. And I know you guys see that my hair is done finally. So if you guys are. Oh wait, I actually do these myself. I do my hair by myself. Sometimes I have my sister do my hair if it's something, if it's a style that I can't do. So if you guys would like me to show you guys how I do my my uh, gutter spool lock, I use the um, what is it called? I use the crochet method. So if you guys would like to see how I do it, let me know down in the comments, and also let me know how you felt about my discussions. Um, and also share your opinions if you would like to.